Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3 d and in this video, we're going to create cables that are animated using bones. I think, I don't know what's the best way to explain it, but if I press G, you can see that as I'm moving the armature around, you can see that the cables are actually moving dynamically, I guess. Let's just call it that. Now, if I want to show you how to rig an arm like this to be controlled by one bone, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and also leave me a comment below saying, hey, Marco, I want to know how to do this. So... Let's leave that alone. Let's go back into object mode and I've just got this cable down here. If I press tab into edit mode, you can see it's a very simple cable. If I come down to the Bezier curve into geometry, we can see that the depth is a little bit big and that's what's given us our thickness there. Okay. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one point, control H to create a hook and I'm going to hook to new object. Boop. From here, I'm going to press, whoops. Uh, the top one here, control H, create a new hook, new object, hook to new object. Oh my goodness. There we go. And it is still not done because now we need to attach the hook to the armature. So from here, let's come over into our object constraints with our hook selected, add hooked child of, I know that child is going to be the armature because that's the bones there. And the bone will be arm underscore to dot zero zero two and we can see that it kind of like went flying off into the distance so all i'm going to do is select set inverse boop, and it comes back so now if i select our armature go into pose mode select our little hand bone and press g you can see that it moves however we can see there's a different problem and that's that these pieces here aren't kind of rotating correctly we can see the cables in the right spot but not those pieces. So probably what I've done is I haven't assigned them to the correct bone. So from here, I'm going to object mode, select this here. Let's grab these pieces in here, control L to select everything that is linked. Let's come over into the vertex groups. Um, can we remove from all active groups? Bam. From here, I'm going to come up and it's going to be armature 002, assign. Let's now go into object mode um, with the armature now selected. Let's go into pose mode. G, there we go. So that problem has now been resolved. Obviously up here, if we want to attach it to the main body, um, we got to do the same thing. Add object constraints, child of, I know it's the armature and uh, bone. I think that's the bone one. So even if I were to move this, you can see that everything's moving along with it. So once again, if you found this tutorial helpful, please make sure you hit the like button. It really helps me out trying to get the, the amount of more people to see this thing. Um, if you want to hit the subscribe button, it does help me out. It actually really does. If, if you want to know more stuff, comment below. <laughs>